There were some people on power, power talk. Some people on power talk who said that their name was Elder Gabar. Someone typed in power talk. Is this Elder Gabar from the GOCC? And this person said yes. So they're bearing false witness, lying on brothers. So they had a power talk forum that they're soliciting through Facebook and other areas, claiming they're us so that they can get money together for migration to Belize and making everyone believe that it's us. It's not us. Okay, I'm putting it out there. So you can go there at your own risk. Okay, there's people that know that there's a large following of the Gavin and Christ Church worldwide, and they crept in, and they're looking for opportunity. Okay, and that's not Elder Gabar from New York. Okay, it's, it's another Gabar. Okay, that's against the church. That's, that, that's, all they do is conference calls so no one can see his face. And he do little things that make you think he'll put his name some close to the gathering of Christ Church, the gathering of the elect. And I, I, well, let's do that. Because one of our first statements is, we gather the elect to the elect. So they took that and said, we're going to call ourselves the gathering of elect. Gathering is close to gathering of Christ. Let everybody know we go bar. We migrate and come out of them, my people. And, and, and that's the, get, get the cash registers go. I'm putting this out there because these are the things I know that's going on that I've heard within the last week. And you do these things, they're playing on your fears and they're playing on your quote unquote inabilities to do certain things. So they, they, they're they actually setting what you would call, uh, they're setting a president or they, they're covering a void that they feel that's out there or that migration thing. No one is migrating, so let me get in here and get some money. They're dragging their feet. They just, and I hear other people saying it too. But we do have a process. But it's a, but you have to be amongst the body to be in that process. That's the whole thing, deal. But what they're doing is, they know that there's people out there that are not a part of nobody, that haven't been baptized. They're not operating a certain type of way, but they still have this. So they're saying, you want to migrate? Yeah, we got a plan. We got some land for you. Come to Pow Talk. Here's my PayPal uh, uh, email. Come on in. So, brothers and sisters, I'm putting it out there. If it ain't from us, you do what you want with, with, with what the most I've blessed you with. But don't come back on us with it. There's a lot of fringe that's operating outside of our church. Using our name, using our banners. We have no control over that. We're going to let the most high deal with that. But you do this at your own risk. No one can use our name or our or, or, or our persona or what the Most High has given us for their personal gain. We're not going to allow them. We're going to put it out there and say what it is. And you make a choice whether or not you want to deal with these people who would even operate like that. Underhanded like that. Claiming they down with the Most High. With that, I can answer a few questions. And, I'm and that right there, brothers and sisters, was the false accusations that were being addressed. Um, never once has anybody from the gathering of the elect ever asked for donations to go to Belize. There is not one brother that has a Pal Talk account. Matter of fact, we never heard a pal talk until this brother made this accusation. And as you can see, August 15th at 7.01 a.m. So uh, we just recorded this. We got a lot of people uh, with questions, um, not understanding the entire matter. Um, all that aside, there's a video uh, that was made months um, before the last video that was made by Elder Gabar addressing these false accusations. So... Brothers and sisters, 
are making comments and sending emails. They want to know exactly what the false accusations are. These were the false accusations that were being addressed. Um, not once uh, did this man making these false accusations contact any one of us to see if that was true. According to Sirach, uh, chapter 11, verse 7, uh, you know, you need to hear an entire matter before you speak about it. So, you know, with that, you know, so be it. Um, like we have mentioned in, in the comments, uh, letting brothers and sisters know. Um, the brother made that video to clear up these false accusations, uh, whether or not you get emotionally attached to somebody. Uh, you know, that's your own prerogative. But that emotional attachment, that favor that you show to a person, has no bearing on the actual truth and facts of the matter. Um, so with that, uh, pray y'all have a blessed day. And once again, uh, you know, he, this brother, you know, so be it. It is what it is, and we're not addressing this matter anymore. But, you know, this brother, when we initially uh, split from their church, this brother came on blog talk week after week speaking about us. Um, it died down. Just put that one video out, then... This brother came on August 15th at 7.01 a.m. and made these false accusations, which had to be addressed. So with that, brothers and sisters, um, you know, you can't speak on a matter if you don't know everything in its entirety. And, uh, you know, search for yourself. We ain't trying to draw nobody uh, to no gathering of the elect. Um, you know, and that's what we choose to call ourselves. It has nothing to do with the gathering of the elect's slogan, um, or the gathering of Christ Church, Salakia, it has nothing to do with what they, what they say. Uh, you know, the scriptures say that the Most High is going to gather the elect to the elect. And so, um, all we ask is, brothers and sisters, do your studying, keep the commandments, and find yourself a church that is going to teach the truth, and not only teach it, but walk in it in every aspect. Shalom.